I'm the only child in my family. I have no brothers or sisters, but I have a dog named Jill. She's 12. My parents had bought her before I was born. So, she has been always my eldest sister. But still, I wanted to have a cat. I begged my parents so hard to buy a little kitten, and my father promised me to do. But my mom was strongly against. One day, it was in May. We went to the circus with my grandma, fortunately for me. The clown was playing fun tricks with kittens. Suddenly, he asked, who wants to have a kitten? He looked around and handed me the funniest and the prettiest kitten I had ever seen. I was so amused with the idea of the kitten that the clown, he seemed to be a magician, carried out my wish. Nothing left to do, said my granny and smiled. Oh, I wish you had been here with your mother. Let us be surprised for him, I answered. So, since that day, our family became one person more. I watched him carefully during the day, let him sleep with me at night. He particularly enjoyed bedtime, settled, and every night, by plopping his nose in my face, falling into a deep sleep. On the first day, Kitten seems to eat constantly. His face was always dirty with cat food. So, thanks to his fellow appetite, Mursik, as we named him, quickly grew into the challenger's young cat. When he decided he was capable to take care of himself, he stopped sleeping on my pillow, referring to a wound around the house, and then curled up at my feet. One day, we were on the way home. We were very hungry, but my poor dad, he was just starving because he hadn't had any lunch or breakfast. My mom tried to comfort him. Wait for a moment, my darling, there is a perfect trail before the kitchen. When we entered the flat, nobody was meeting us. It was so strange. It we understood that something was wrong. Whatever the matter be, I thought. The music was eating the last roll before he had pulled out the pen. My mom was in despair. He cried, How dare you touch our dinner? If you don't stop to seize our food, I will turn you out of the house. My dad burst out laughing. I must say, he loved music much more than roast beef. He just crazy about him. The clever kitten ran out of the kitchen in the blink of night. He <coughs> crept under the sofa. This time, Murzik had such a fright that he decided to be a good cat. But he couldn't be always a good cat. It wasn't very long before he played another trick on me. One day, when I came home from school, I felt that my pocket with shoes is too heavy. Fancy that, this naughty boy had crept inside it and lying in it very quietly. Soon it began to move. In the fright I threw the pocket down. In this very moment the kitten slipped out of it. Next time when I was coming home from school I was in astonishment that nobody was running around me. But suddenly Gruzik jumped down on my shoulder and stuck his pincers into me. He was joking, of course, but I was far from laughing. But nevertheless, there is nobody I love better than my cat. He's everything for me. He's the toy I can play with. He's my friend I can talk to. He's my little brother I can look after. And he's my shoulder I can cry on. When I'm in trouble, when I'm all to pieces, there is nobody who can capture my heart like, a, like my kitten can. He can comfort me without any words, only by touching me in his warm 